Hi everyone, this is Olivia with Crafting with Ollie. I'm going to be creating a uh, Uncle Sam using a, t a table leg and in and uh, um, this one had a hole here where, this, where it was screwed in so I used this molding clay and I already went ahead and created a base to it. I went ahead and uh, got it uh, screwed in and I put this little uh, tumbling blocks on it for the base with this little piece of wood. So I'm going to be using the paints, uh, the red, navy blue, and uh, this one's going to be, I'm going to be using it for the face. It's a uh, tone, skin tone color. That's what this one is. So let me go ahead and pour some on my little plate here. And this flat area is what I'm going to be using for the area of the face. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and paint this area here. If y'all would please like and subscribe my channel, I'd appreciate it a lot. You can do that for me, please. This old uh, table leg was in a in a shed, in a shed, and it was given to me. Someone was gonna throw it away, and I said, "No, oh, I can use that." So here I am going to turn it into an Uncle Sam. Fourth of July uh, is coming uh, around the corner. And I am doing all my patriotic stuff. I am working on that for next month. So all my crafts I'll be working on now are going to be patriotic and Americana crafts. I'm just going to go ahead and paint the whole head this color. Even though I am going to be covering this back here with uh, faux fur. And this acrylic paint, I got it at Walmart, uh, the An Anitas, I think that's from Walmart, no, I think that's from Hobby Lobby, I think that's from Hobby Lobby, the, the brand. So if you have an old table or an old chair, you can you can use the the table leg for it to create this Uncle Sam. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do like a little V here in white that's going to be for the like his work as if he's wearing a, sh a the coat 
He's got his little blue coat on it, and the little un V is for his shirt that he has under the coat. I'll go back and do another coating on the face because I'm just letting it dry for while I'm doing this section right here. And I'll go back and redo another coating on the face. And painting is so relaxing, it just so calming for me to paint. center this is going to be the front right here and then that's going to be the B opening of his jacket and his jacket is going to be a navy blue This one didn't have that the, the snap like this one does. Okay, so now I'm going to paint this section is the blue that's going to be his little overcoat. If you like Americana stuff, this will be something that you can add to your 4th of July or other crafts that you are making.
Okay, I'm gonna work on the face now since it looks like it's already dry. Go back and give it a second coating. this area right here where it's going to be the front of the face Use the cigarette thing, and I can put your brushes there so they can hold your brushes. That's uh, something you could use. I saw somebody use them like that, and I thought it was a neat idea to use that ashtray for that. I keep a steady hand right here to keep the line straight. The blue needs a little touch up. Let the blue dry up a little bit more before I put a second coating on it. And now this section right here is supposed to be like the pant section. And I've seen them where they do the red, red and white stripes. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I can see if I have a steady hand enough to do that. I'm trying to think how I can do that. If I should just do the whole pant in white and then do it, go back in and do the red stripes or just do red and white stripes. We'll see. See how this works out. Just drawing a, a stripe down, going down this way in red. I'm 
this one's definitely going to need another coating of paint. I'm just doing stripes. The red one's going to need another coating because it's The white stands out a lot more, but the red doesn't. So I'm, that means I've just got to go back and do another, another coating of the red. to keep it as straight as possible. The red and white stripes, once it dries up, I can go back in and fix the stripes a little bit more better. I'm going to be doing the bottom section now. I've seen this. I've been seeing others that have been working on these. Uh, and they have this section here blue with uh, little stars on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and paint this area, this whole area down here blue. And as the paint dries, I'm going to be working on on the hat. I bought those the set of hats at Dollar Tree. The little plastic hats, and I'm just going to to make one and make it into a top hat because they're not really tall and I like I like those tall top hats that uh, Uncle Sam wears so I'm going to make a tall hat I'm just painting the whole base down here blue so it'll match
the spindle, the the leg down here was kind of like the wood was rotting, so I had to fill the rotted spots here with this yellow clay. So that's why you see yellow there, because it had holes. So I just filled up that hole with the clay. Just to give it a more even look on it. Yeah, like everything else that's going to need a second coating and I'll be working on that later. And the red and white stripes, I will fix them up and make it look more neater when they, when the paint dries and I give a second coating, that's when I'll fix it. So you don't see the blending of the red into the white as much as you do right now. I'm just giving a little second coating now to the top part of this. Okay, I'm going to set this aside so it can dry, so I can work on the hat. <clears throat> now the hat, like I mentioned a while ago, I got these hats from Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off. Let me take this paper stuff off. This is a uh, paper. And they just glued it here. thing here all right I'm going to cut this brim off because like I said earlier I want to have this had a little bit more taller so I'm gonna combine this one with a To make a little slit in the back and take off this what we need this elastic okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this to the top so I'll have a, a tall hat and what I did is I slid this so I can close it down because this it as a hat it goes wide at the bottom and it starts go, going narrow so it was going to just slip right through so that's why I had I did that let me get some tape here and try and tape this up here. Got a little bit 
taller hat and that's going to go on top of the on the head of this I have this ribbon that I cut it came it comes like this with the with the stripes and I went ahead and cut this the stars off so I can glue them down down here use some hot glue And I'm going to use this ribbon to, to make it look like the stripes that he has on his hat that go up this way. And I'm just going to layer it all the way around to make it look like he's got stripes all the way around like that. mosquito around me. So all I'm going to do is just keep putting some this ribbon all the way around the hat and uh, I'll be back to show you the finished product. Ow. Okay, here's the final product of the, the hat and I will be putting it on top of his head up here. Uh, uh, but at the moment I'm going to go ahead and put the, the hair and the beard before I put the hat on. And uh, like I said, the beard I'm gonna be using is faux fur. Uh, I bought this at uh, Hobby Lobby. And the trick to this, I learned that you don't you don't cut this with scissors. You're supposed to use the uh, exacto knife because that way the the fur will not uh, fall off. Let me just lift this over so I can use my cutting board. And my cutting board has seen some days. It's a little old. I've had it for a while. Get my pack of my exacto knives. Uh, this packet I got it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and it's not bad. It works pretty good. I already had a knife on this.
Okay, so what you do is you turn it over and you use your exacto knife. Let's see what this is. Need to make sure it's tight. And you start cutting into the back part. And that way you're not cutting the hair, you're only cutting the, the back part of this. And I'm just doing a little section here because I'm doing the, like the mustache area first. right through this back liner thing. Alright, so I already went ahead and cut uh, with an exacto knife. I, I cut little sections for the mustache and another section for the beard. And, an, and this section is going to be for the hair. So the hair is just going to go up around the back like this. So you can see him, how the hair is going to fall down. And I'm just going to glue it down on him right now. All right, I put it, uh, glue and I put the hair on. So now he's got hair. And this is going to be his beard. I'm going to put it right about here. Put some glue here and pop the beard on him. And if you want to, you can trim the beard if you feel it's too long. But I think it looks good like that. And then his mustache. You're going to be right here, this area. Put some glue here and glue his mustache on that side and now the other side. And for the eyes, I'm going I'm using the these little beads that I have I got at the paper studio at uh, at Hobby Lobby. This is where you find these. You find them at the where they find all the stickers and things like that. And there, I uh, put his eyes there. And his little hat will go on top of his head like this. Okay, I'm going to finish uh, decorating this, the last uh, things. And I just wanted to show you that I added some some hair here for the eyebrows and I kind of do a little outline of the nose there and uh, down here I added the same beads that I used for the eyes I use smaller ones for the little buttons on his front shirt the last thing I'm gonna do now is just going to add some little stars on the bottom here and I cut these stars from a chain that I got at uh, at Walmart it comes in a packet of three, has a red, blue, and the silver stars. And I'm just, I just cut several little stars out of the chain here, and I'm just going to just add them. Just for little finishing touches here, here and there.
and I hope you all like my my uh, little Uncle Sam here and if you want to give it a try just look for an old leg table leg or a chair leg or you can even go buy new ones at the Home Depot or uh, Lowe's they sell some Just gonna cut out some more. And as I'm ending my project here, let me just repeat again. Uh, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. The more we have on here, the better. We have more viewers. one down there. I'll just cut another one off here. Okay, just one more star here in the corner and I think I'll be done. Alright guys, I hope you liked my little uh, craft here again and uh, my Uncle Sam ready for uh, 4th of July and be ready to decorate my front porch with my patriotic and Amer Americana crafts. Thank you for being here with me uh, with Crafting with Ollie. Goodbye.